My name is Queen Bless Nebigesi, popularly known as Black Queen. I'm a Hollywood actress and a filmmaker. I'm the president and founder of Queen Bless Foundation. I'm also the vice president of Association of Movie Producers. This morning, I just want to talk to you about something. Somebody contacted me and um, she's having relationship issues. I'm not a relationship expert, but I try my best as much as I can on my page to solve issues. And so most of the time when people contact me with their problems, I don't, you know, it's not everything I put out here. There are some things I just solve and, you know, I just feel it's not new. It's not something, there's nothing new anyway. Then, you know, I just feel it's not something I should talk about on my page. But when I see anything that I need to talk about on my page, I bring it to you. I talk about it. I tell you what advice I give to the person. I tell you, I tell you what advice I give to the person and what you think. And also give you the privilege to drop your comment. Because nobody knows I'm finished. You understand? Like I always tell you guys. Okay, so this lady contacted me. And she said that she's been dating this guy. Or she was dating this guy and for some for some reason that she didn't know what happened the guy just decided not to talk to her again and decide to go his way and after like about few months the guy decided to say hi to her on whatsapp and she didn't hi back and three days later the guy did another hi and then she did hello and the guy said okay could we see can we talk we need to talk and he said what happened why did you leave you never replied my calls you never replied my messages now you want to talk what do you want to talk about and the guy said when they see so when they finally saw each other um the guy was like okay something happened he was in a bad place he, he didn't really say exactly what happened okay and he wanted them to come back together okay um, but the problem now is that the guy claims that he's very very busy He cannot book the place where they need to go for dinner because he wants to take the girl for dinner But he doesn't he, he, he's too busy to book the place for dinner He wants the girl to book the place now remember in okay I didn't tell you that already the girl told me that when they were still dating She has been the only one that pushes him to go out because she is the type that likes to go out so most of the time she really wants to pick a place book a place sometimes even foot the bills or sometimes they split it in half and sometimes the man you know pays the bill but most of the time she picks the bill because the man will say you are the one that chose where to go and so you should pick the bill so this time around the man is claiming that he is very very busy that the girl should book the place and I'm told that hey, look, number one Whatever you get in a relationship is how you started it. There's a saying that says how you lay your bed is how you lie on it, okay? Now, from beginning of this relationship, you've always booked places you guys go to. Sometimes you foot the bill, or rather most of the time you foot the bill. Now, this guy has seen you as somebody very desperate, as somebody who really wants to be in his life, which is why he left in the first place. You probably were choking him, or he didn't know how to tell you he doesn't love you, or maybe was just staying okay so um you have always picked a place um let me just put on my glasses okay the sun is kind of into my eyes um so you picked the place where you go to and it, it's like he's used to it so he wants to continue the kind of life you guys were having before he decided to leave now number one before you even decide to get what i told her number one before you decide to get back together with him again you need to find out why he left in the first place now so that if it's something that is a problem you can tackle you tackle it if it's something that you cannot tackle you call it quit i mean if you had already survived without him for months i don't see why you would allow him come back into your life and then just go off again with Without explanation and then you start crying from beginning again why do you want to repeat a class it's never fun to repeat a class okay so that was number one advice and as for who picks where to go and I told her I said look if he is too busy to get a place for you guys to go and have dinner then he's not ready for the relationship okay that's my own take because if he's ready for the relationship he's back he's the one that is coming back now to look for you to try to get back the relationship he left in the first place so for what i think is he's the one that should do everything possible to pacify you everything possible to show you that he's now coming finally to stay not to leave like he did without explanation again so he should be the one to get the place that you guys are pay for it he should be the one to do everything then you know that he is serious okay because if you allow him start the way you guys did the first Time. even the second time round he will still do whatever he wants to do and he will still take a walk and walk back again into your life the third time okay I'll just use myself as an example I had a man in my life some years ago this guy I liked him a lot rather I love him you know and we dated for a while the next thing 
he started dating one of my friends and when i found out he was dating a friend of mine i decided to break up with him okay so um i confronted him he confirmed he said the girl came to stole the number from my phone came to his house you know the, the story was so long and he was one of these nollywood actresses and you know started dating this girl and i decided i would share my man even if i want to share it's not going to be a colleague it, it won't be a friend it won't be a nollywood person i mean something when i take pose you understand i can't they say one person when near me don't know what they are and you don't understand what they try to so i decided that that relationship was over so i broke up with him and after about six months i just couldn't get him out of my mind he came back begged and begged and begged i, I took him back we started dating again and after a while i caught him again with another nollywood actress or, or a nollywood actress but this time around not my friend but a colleague still again why will you date a woman in my industry you shouldn't do that if you're my boyfriend and you want to flirt i mean 95 percent of men flirt you can't really take that out of their blood you can't change that as long as you don't do it around me i don't really care as long as i don't catch you because what i don't know won't hurt me but as long as you start doing it around me then it, be it becomes disrespectful and it becomes annoying because you won't take it if i decide to date your friends so i decided you know what it was over and i cried over it so much and you know I thought I was it. so by the time after like two three months he thought that he would come back again and beg and do the thing. he came back beg 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 as at the time he came back in 2013 I had fell in, I had found somebody else and I felt so madly in love with this person this man respected me so much respect me even up to today you know he thinks about me before himself put me first in everything I never thought that such a man existed I never thought that I could find such love I never thought because I have had very very bad experience when it comes to relationship from my son's father to the one next to the one next and to that one before i finally found a fifth person that is now in my life and you know is there some people will say oh you they count them my dear <laughs> to find love no easy some people even date as much as 20 before they can find that very person that is their soulmate at least i stopped at five so at the end of the day what am i trying to say when he came back there's nothing he didn't do i told him you see that ship slid a long time ago and that's it and i never went back to that relationship well we remained friends but that was it so what am i trying to say it's that some men just think that they can walk out of your life because you love them or because you like them and walk back in when they deem fit we women should place value on ourselves we should place a premium anybody that can afford us should be somebody that shows us that he respects us we should place respect above money we should place respect above material things okay our dignity should be what we should be concerned about yes money is good okay in every relationship love is sweet when there is money trust me i know go tell you lie love they very very sweet when money day even when you know, they do something if light no the AC no the the heat self no go let the thing sweet. So if you don't get money by AC, how you want to enjoy with it at all? So at the end, I'm just using that one as an excuse. So just laugh small. So at the end, at, at the end of the day, everything about money in life it's good, but don't place money over your self-respect. Don't place money over your dignity. So I told her, my dear, if this guy really wants you and he wants to come back, number one, find out why he left. If the excuse is good enough, give him a second chance. Everybody deserves a second chance. And again, he has to get that place for the dinner. He is the one requesting for you. Being the one getting places for dinner because you requested for it. This time he's requesting for a dinner date. He should get the place, pay for it, and welcome you to that place and have dinner. And then you guys can talk. Maybe at dinner, you can ask him exactly why he left in the first place. And if the answer is not good enough, after dinner, tell him, let's remain friends. I mean, it's not everybody you like or love that you marry. It's not everybody you like or love that you must date. You guys can just become platonic friends. There's nothing bad in that. So that was my advice for her. So listen to everything I've said. Whether I was right, whether I was wrong, and whether you think that she should be the one to get that place for a dinner date, or whether you think he sh she should just forget about what happened, how the guy left and never even told her why, whether she shouldn't just even open old wounds. What do you think? Tell me if I was right and advise her. She's following me. She's going to see your advice. She's going to see anything that you put out there. Let's try to help ourselves in these relationship issues. And also, I always tell people, communication is key in a relationship. Communication is 
is extremely important no matter the problems you're having in your relationship when you communicate you're going to find a way to solve it i and my man we talk every day every day we talk even when we don't have anything to say we just talk about those little 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 nonsense that don't make sense but at the end of the day you find out in our lives it makes sense because we never quarrel even when we quarrel nobody comes to separate us we sort them out by ourselves we beat ourselves you know sort the problem out by ourselves anyway let me leave this video here i love you so much i love you i love you i love you